Hey everybody, how's it going? I decided to uh, do one more before I call it a night. I really want to try to figure this out if I can. So let's hope I can finish this up in the next 30 minutes. This is an administrative panel. See what it says. This is an information sign. It might contain some useful data. We should restore it. Watson, you are a gentleman, and gentlemen tend to carry handkerchiefs. Might I borrow yours? And where is your own? I haven't the faintest idea. Very well. Here it is. Oh. Ooh. Interactive. I get to hold the A button while swiping around. Is that it? W-E-A, coal. These mines belong to them. Hmm. All right, next up. Let's go to the station. I'm pretty certain I'm not going to finish this case in this video. Hopefully in the next one. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Oh, really? We gave that away. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. All right, let's see. Where was okay? This goes right here, and this goes right here. This looks for oh, I can do it like that too. Jeez. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. And a burnt note. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. 
a greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Is that it? This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdle, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Is that it? Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. That sucks. Remember kids, gambling's bad. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. There are two companies trying and the Mexican both wanted to purchase the view coal mines. Mexican car, car was that Caracal or whatever. Christian had established an initial deal and had prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Pacifico group, aided by their influential connections, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mines. So no wonder they're mad at each other. Well, one's mad over the other. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Ah, uh, might as well check that while I'm here. While I'm outside. Okay, so what's the point of this? I I have no clue what's going on. That's pretty dumb. I might as well talk to him. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but... There's not much that I can tell you about last night. 
We got an angry look. Probably knows I'm checking him out. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master? It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond. Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. <laughs> Straight up, no. Don't need your crappy tea there, Sherlock. What the heck? There's a large flooded area near the station in Old Quarry. Okay. Oh, the beach. Guess we'll go over there in a second. I kind of want to look around a little bit more. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. Wrinkles. I wonder if I can run out of time at all. Doesn't feel like it. Hmm. Where's the last one? Oh. Ch 
Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. When I start this. Yeah, not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. He doesn't seem so nice. Mexicans held no grudge against the Chinese business is business after all. make sense of course everything's supposed to make sense was I already in here ah uh, yes I was you'll find nothing interesting here I'm afraid Go to the beach. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Come on. Nothing interesting here. I, am I how far am I supposed to nothing interesting here ah <sighs> this is so annoying nothing interesting here no. what's going on no. <laughs> okay let's see Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Alright, I'm just skipping it. This is just ridiculous. I, I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Nothing interesting here. I mean, I'm, I understand I'm supposed to see the length of something, but what? The, the horseshoes? The tracks? 
Excuse me. Nothing interesting. The there we go. The vehicle would have been. He These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. I'm glad I figured it out real quick at the end there. Sorry about that, guys. An advertisement for Lake Cruises. An outhouse, I think. I think that's an outhouse. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. Uh, okay. A label with the name Las Zarpas. Ooh, that might be our friend. Oh, where's that? This place was abandoned fairly recently. An abandoned gypsy caravan. Hmm. Those gypsies. I'm thinking this is it. Yeah, I said I completed everything. Let's head over here before I turn off this episode. Was this the first one we went to? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. I don't remember all these people. Alright guys, hope to see you in the next episode where we try to figure out where this dang train went. See ya.